Welcome to another daily recap for Wednesday, November 1, 2023. You are looking at a one-minute chart of the SPY, or spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between the two vertical dotted lines is Wednesday's activity in the spiders. The three horizontal lines are the levels that were calculated before the market opened and produced trades. These daily levels are the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures, or ES, and they also work in the micro E-mini futures, or MES. We'll take a look at how today's levels played out. The first level that got hit was at 420.22, and that happened as the spiders came up into this level at 10.01 a.m. And a very quick spike of this level produced a base hit within a few seconds. And as soon as this first trade was closed out, the 420.22 level was off the table for the rest of the trading day. The next level was 421.35, and it took a while to develop, to develop, but when the spiders did come down into the profit zone, they provided the base hit as intended, and they kept falling. There are two approaches that I use when I play these levels when the profit target is reached. The way price reacted at this 421.35 level is an example of how an, how an alternate strategy would have worked out, where a portion of the trade is left on the table as a trailing stop. And depending on how, on how you manage the trade, it would have been possible to have trailed the remaining portion of the position for bonus points as the spiders continued to fall a little while longer. But to keep, thing, to keep things simple, I'm showing how playing for base hits, where the entire position is taken off, is consistently profitable over time. So at this point, this 421.35 level was satisfied and off the table. The last level spiders came up into was 422.55, and a short trade was triggered in the ES, and this was quick and drama-free. The base profit the base hit profit target was was produced within a few minutes, and the spiders continued on their way, leaving me with, a, with another base hit in the bag. So three base hits of four points each, 12 total points in the ES, and more money in the pocket. Even if you were trading a few micro ES or MES, micro uh, ES contracts, this would have been a decent day. And for reference, here are the profit potentials depending on how many contracts you were trading per the strategy that I use. As always, I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.